Hey everybody, the Bong is back. Welcome to part 8 of Let's Play Valkyria Chronicles Remastered. Alright, we're in chapter 9, so we got the mission here. Kidnapping of Cordelia. We have an emergency on our hands. Princess Cordelia has been kidnapped by Federation operatives. The armored vehicle carrying the princess is headed for the part of the southern end of the combat area. Spread out your soldiers and stop that vehicle. Your objective is to disable the vehicle's engine and rescue Princess Cordelia. Use rifles and machine guns to strike the vehicle's weak point and bring it to a stop. Explosive weapons like tank cannons, lances, and grenades are off-limits. The risk to the princess is too great. Letting that car reach either of these two points will mean allowing their escape. We can't let that happen. We also got word that Federation Special Forces have been sighted in the area. They'll be protecting the vehicle. They may be wearing Gallian uniforms, but they're real feds. Don't think twice about pulling those triggers. It's a dark night out there. You won't be able to get a visual on enemies past a certain distance. Stay sharp. Ah, uh, even more fail objectives. Five of them. Alright, first thing we want to do is we'll put a shock trooper right here. As for everything else, we can just put Alicia here, Largo here, and that's it. Your mission is to rescue Her Highness unharmed. Failure isn't an option on this one, soldiers. Failure isn't an option on any of them, you know that. They can't get to the harbor. We stop them here. Squad 7, move out. To the harbor, full steam. The ship's waiting there to take us out of Galia. Apologies for the cramped quarters, your highness. We have you comfortable soon. <sighs> Lieutenant, it's likely the Ambassador has the Princess with him inside that armored vehicle. Use firearms to stop it with minimal force, then recover the Princess. Don't lose them. Tank shells, anti-tank lances, and grenades are off-limits. You could harm the Princess. Understood, Captain. Wilkes, even if we can't attack with it, the Edelweiss can still block their path. Yeah. On a narrow road like this, there's no room to slip past a tank in your way. Sounds like a plan. Let's get the princess back safe. Okay, looks like it's moving to the right. To like A2, I think. Oh, did I not take Rosie? I took a different one. How did I not take Rosie? I want to take an Alex. Just leave it to me. Enemy spotted. Well, I guess we have to trust you then. There's a the vehicle. I don't want you at top health because you gotta make a kamikaze run. This is an order. Destroying the target is your top priority. One of these days I'll learn how to read. I'm on my way now. Oh my god, I survived with 14 HP. And that's how you shut it down on the first turn. Operation complete. Let's get her highness out of there.
I think we did pretty well. <laughs> Your Highness, are you all right? I am unharmed. Oh, good. Being princess ain't all fancy dinners, huh? Gotta be hard carrying a whole country. Can it, Rosie? That's the Princess of Gallia you're talking to. No, it's quite all right. She speaks the truth. As Scion of the Valkyrer, it is my fate to live and die for Gallia's well-being. Are you sure that isn't just your excuse, Your Highness? What? If you label the status quo fate, you can run from the responsibility of changing it. You too, Welkin. Have a little respect here. Every living thing in this world struggles to live and pass life on to a new generation. They use all the instincts and animal wisdom they can just to live that one day longer. That powerful animal will to live is... I think it's a beautiful part of nature. Your Highness may be descended from Valkyra, and that may carry a burden. The old ways and traditions you follow may be important to uphold. But I hope that you won't throw away the will to live your own life because of them. That's enough, Welkin. Give it a rest. Perhaps it is as you say, and I have been running from responsibility unknowingly. It is indeed mine to consider my life's role within the Valkyrian bloodline. Y your Highness. I am most envious of your ability to speak your mind so frankly. But time enough remains to consider my role by my own will. Thank you for your words, Lieutenant. Not at all. Wow, even a princess's gut will wake up and say hi when it's empty. I... I am. Rumbling bellies are a clever bit of animal wisdom all humans share. Alicia, have we got anything to eat? You bet. I brought some of the cinnamon rolls I baked this morning. How convenient! Here you are, Your Highness. Thank you kindly. I mentioned just going to a battlefield. It's like, uh, I brought the grenades, I brought my rifle, some cinnamon buns. <laughs> we'll have this war won in no time. I have not had such bread before, but it is quite agreeable. <laughs> I'm glad. All right. Let's get Her Highness back to the capital. The award ceremony. Oh, sweet, I got a Medal of Honor. And so Princess Cordelia returned, safe through the efforts of Militia Squad 7. Its leader, Welkin Gunther, was celebrated as rescuer to the nation's sovereign and awarded the prestigious Gallian Medal of Honor. Lieutenant Welkin Gantha, step forward. Sir, for excellence in valor and deed, you are hereby awarded this honor. Your Highness, please bestow the medal upon the young lieutenant. Gladly. Congratulations, Lieutenant Gunther. Yeah, look how glad I am. This is my gladness face. Thank you, Your Highness. Though I have yet to reach an answer, your question drives me still. To understand my responsibility as sovereign and as a single human life. Oh, and know that one tradition already lies sundered by my will. I had the cooks add cinnamon rolls to my daily breakfast. Alicia will be happy to hear it. Lieutenant Gunther, you forget yourself. Sir, my apologies. 
With this, today's ceremonies are ended. Highness, would you grace us with a word? Lieutenant Gunther, I hope your allegiance to Galia stands firm evermore. Yes, Princess. I mean, it is my home. Let's see fears of a patriot. Welcome. I'm coming in. Sure, it's open. Ooh, is that it? Not bad, man. You sure made a name for yourself this time. It was pure luck I was there. So have you seen the headlines? The ones that say nothing about the kidnapping? That reporter tells me Borg's the one pressuring the media into suppressing it. But why suppress it? Probably would have caused an incident if word got out it was a kidnapping. If word got out about what happened, Gali's relationship with the Federation would suffer. We've got our hands full fending off the Empire. We can't afford a war on two fronts. So he has the whole thing covered up. I'll bet he goes on acting like it never happened. Wow. Welkin, this hurts. It's painfully obvious how shaky Gallia's standing is. I know the world's history is an endless chain of big fish eating little fish. Both of us know the weak bow to the strong. It's history and it's nature. A minor nation like ours is an easy mark, even before you add the rift within our army. Welkin. No offense, but I hope nature's wrong this time. I don't know what to tell you, Faldio. So I won't. Chapter 10, Liberation of Thousand. Oh, nice, a decorations tab. Meeting certain conditions as you proceed through the game may earn you decorations. You can view any awards you've earned in the decorations tab. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can go to audience hall via the headquarters tab or Princess Cordelia will present them to you in person. Oh. Oh. Okay. Let's look at these first. From the looks of things, we got two maps on this chapter. The Thousand Operation. We've been given orders for our next mission. The militia's taking back the city of Thousand. Thousand's that big industrial city with all those Ragnite mines, right? Yes. If we manage to reclaim it, it'll be a shot in the arm to Galia's productivity. Sounds good. So what's the plan, boss? The militia will break up into squads and set up a perimeter around the city. Once that's set, Squad 7 takes the point. Here, look at this. An armored rail vehicle? Right. They installed it to defend their hold on the city. Now our mission is to destroy it. Yeah, okay, so we destroy it. Any idea how we take on a beast like that? Gonna take a lot more than a pack of soldiers marching at it to do that, boss. Don't worry. We've got some hefty support on this one. Support? Like who? You know that Darksons from Empire-held areas have been brought there, right? I've heard stories, yes. That they're being used as forced labor in the Ragnite mines and weapons factories. According to Captain Barat, one of the men in the camps is acting as our agent. Here I get my hopes up and it's just some dark hair. Got any more great news? What do you mean by that? I'm just saying, I hope this guy's not as stubborn as someone else we know. Um, our entire squad is built on stubbornness. Please stop judging people solely by your preconceptions. All Darksons are different. Sure could have fooled me. I couldn't tell you dark hairs apart if I tried. I don't believe you have ever really tried, Rosie. 
No, you just didn't. Just drop it already. We're soldiers. We'll do our best out there. If the orders say work with the Darkson, we do. That said, I ain't making any promises if this guy turns out to be useless, Here. Yeah? Well, we can't know for sure until we meet him, but the mission hinges on him. We begin the march on Fausen at first light. The attack begins at sundown. The concentration camp. Oh, that's a... That's a very unfortunate name section. Oh, this stench is unbearable. Please, some food, sir. Even water would... Keep your distance. Presumptuous, dark-haired. Filthy. Where is the one responsible for this hovel? You rang? I hear a worker in Sector D has been disobeying his work orders. Would you care to explain this infraction? He's not disobeying you. He's been sick as a dog for a couple of days now. Folks from other camps working D Sector have gotten sick lately too. One's in a coma. That's where they handle Ragnite Refinery. Sure the toxic exhaust's being handled right? Hmm. <laughs> That's no concern of yours or mine. You animals need only be silent and obey. Let's think of it this way. You drive them to death and the work stops getting done. That doesn't help you much, eh? Hmm. <laughs> I'll let you know as soon as he can work. Think you could let him rest for now? Very well. Have him return to work the minute he's able. And remember, no one would miss the likes of a few of you maggots. Alright, here's the first mission. Infiltration of Thousand. Well, we'll do that later. Let's check out the decorations. Given to a godly has performed exemplary service in a military or civilian office. Okay, these are just what they are. Okay, looks like they're named for each one. They don't even tell you what the conditions are. Anyway, let's save. Hello again, son. I'll teach you heal all today. Use it to request a full medical team to heal all wounded allied units. Well, what is your decision? 10,000 experience for heal all, sure. Very good. I hope my orders can assist you in saving the nation. I hope we'll meet again. Should you wish, you can likely find me here. With all that experience, I guess we can spend a lot of it. I wouldn't mind getting scouts to level 17. Oh, nice. Maybe I should get some elite engineers. I still don't have that elited yet. Good work. And that should do it. You're better. Good work, Mac. Congratulations, engineers. Oh, awesome. Um, maybe I'll spend the rest of that on snipers. Thankfully, skirmish map four has been really, really good. You can get that done in one turn. Now let's see what we got for research and development. Well.
Well, we can boost uh, all three of our rifles. Here you go. Here you go. Don't mind if I do. Here you go. Now, what about nothing for machine guns? Really? Four lances, four sniper rifles, four flamethrowers. Okay, grenades can get upgraded. Uniforms can get upgraded. I like when he makes that hoof sound. Do it again. Ah, damn it. When I tell you to hook, you do it! Steel upgrade. Here you go. Ah, reinforce the barrel. Side upgrade. Oh man, that's... It's not very cheap, to be honest. Too bad you can't just, like, make that grid bigger yet. Come back. I guess we can go to the audience hall. Another medal? The Lance of Gallia. Looks like you get a trophy for each one. The Crimson Heart Award. May your allegiance to Gallia stand firm evermore. Now we'll go to Castlefront Street. Hey! Oh, and how about the new rising star of Squad 7, huh? I've heard some wild stories. You must be proud. I couldn't help but snipe him with a pop interview. You'll have to read it once I get it all drafted up. Okay, let's look at these. Princess kidnapping foiled. A wall exclusive scoop! Early morning on the 23rd, Princess Cordelia was abducted and taken forcibly from the grounds of Castle Rangris. Subsequent investigation has shown the culprit was Federation Ambassador Townshend in Galia on an official visit. After a banquet at the castle, he forced the princess into an armored vehicle he had prepared and made for the port. Thankfully, his escape was thwarted by members of Squad 7 of the Galian militia, who safely recovered Princess Cordelia in time. The Gallian government has declined to address this matter publicly, likely in an effort not to endanger relations with the Federation while Gallia remains locked in combat with the Empire's forces. Since when has the writing on the wall cared about that? <laughs> Militia Lieutenant Decorated Castle Rangris's audience hall saw an award ceremony on the 28th. 
in which Militia Officer Lieutenant Wilkin Gunther, 22, was presented the prestigious Gallian Medal of Honor, given to those who have gone above and beyond the call of duty in service of Gallia's interests. The Unicorn and Blazon Medal was presented by Princess Cordelia herself, who also graced the young soldier with wishes for his continued loyalty. After the ceremony, Gunther addressed the press, saying that he hoped to do right by this honor by becoming a better man and officer. Metal hung proudly around his neck. The Gunther family has the rare distinction of being among the first to receive this highest of awards, twice in as many generations. Da, 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 da. I've got new material. Well, it's about time you did. 50,000? R and R. Well, all right. <laughs> Thanks a million. Come back and see the writing on the wall again soon. I'll be waiting for you. Uh, I guess we can do that. Report: Squad Seven's R and R. It's just like a slice of life chapter. A warrior's respite. And maybe we can make the tank play volleyball. Figured this has got to be big if they put out an emergency call, right? Oh, back into the field again? Militia ever heard of time off? I'm sorry to have called you here so early. I had news for Squad 7 of a pressing nature. The higher-ups were watching, both during your recovery of the Princess and elsewhere. In recognition of those accomplishments, you and I are being granted special leave. Ooh! That's great news. Are you serious? Music to my ears. How wonderful. There's more. We've been granted access to a stretch of shoreline owned by House Randgrees. House Randgrees owns a stretch of shoreline? In other words, our orders are to cut loose and relax on a posh private beach. No way. That princess really knows how to up the morale, don't she? The whole place to ourselves. Talk about luxury. Hey, but what should I do? I don't own a swimsuit. Then come on, let's go shopping. I'll pick out something nice for you. <sighs> okay. Wow, it's been years, huh? This should be fun, though, East. Yes. Very. We'll leave as soon as you're ready. You've earned this break. Enjoy it. Dismissed. A beachside holiday. tell this is a private beach it's beautiful the water's so blue there's not many places this well preserved around anymore <gasps> look at those white wings hi welkin <sighs> this uh swimsuit was rosie's idea really i tried to tell her no i just i wasn't sure i could pull it off um, what do you think? Do I look okay? Uh, mm, mm, it's great, actually. Great? You mean it? Huh? Uh, yeah. That is, you're, you're as pretty as a white-winged gull. I look like a seagull? Yeah. Those wings are just gorgeous. Okay, so that was a compliment? You bet it was. The white-winged gull is just about my favorite bird. Are you calling me a okay. bird? Then thanks, Welkin. Someone's taking this private beach thing a little too literally. It's already hot enough as it is. Rosie! Don't try to pretend. You picked the raciest suit just for the lieutenant, the nervous some girls. Rosie, you're the one who told me to get it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> someone's going in the water. <laughs> 
Okay, okay. Don't lose your top. Hey. <laughs> hey, Elks. Oh, hey, Ace. You having fun? I am. Nice hat. Been a while since we've come to the beach, hasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> that reminds me. Weren't you afraid of the water, Ace? I remember you clinging to that floaty porcabian. We tried to drag you out and you started bawling. Well, Kin, I was barely a toddler then. <laughs> right, sorry. You must be a great swimmer by now. That's none of your business. I'm surprised they let us drive a tank to the beach. Days Forever Gone. Is that the sequel to Days Gone that we never got? <laughs> swim i thought you liked that nobody wants to see me running around in a skimpy suit like those kids not at my age whatever you say granny you're no better than i am are you you haven't changed a bit since the day you enlisted you still can't recognize a joke and you still got a mouth on you think i'd kill over if that changed <laughs> thank you for the lovely compliment Come to think of it, didn't we all go to the beach just after we enlisted? Yes, we had a big seashell hunt competition. I don't think you found a single one. <laughs> I remember. Yeah, that was a wild time. <laughs> then Frederick winds up soaked to the bone. Largo. No Frederick stories. Oh. Hey. I'm, I'm sorry. No. I should apologize. I'm going for a little walk. Well. An awkward pair? Pair of what? East, over here! Pass the ball over here! Isara! Nail him! Okay. Alright. Hans, did I hit you with that? I'm so sorry. <laughs> she nailed the pig. All by yourself, huh? Why don't you go join them? Nah, that's not my thing. Mm-hmm. Always have to play it cool, huh? <laughs> so what, did your journalist duties call you to the beach, or are you just bored? <laughs> Got me there. If I'm spending a day at the beach, I'd rather be with my boyfriend. Oh-ho-ho! Ho. You got yourself a boy, do ya? Color me jealous. Right? But there's times when I feel envious of you all, too. I interviewed a good chunk of Galia's army, but I didn't see any other units like yours. True comrades. The bond you guys have is really a cut above the rest. Hmm. <laughs> Get over there already. They're all waiting for you. Well, I could take pity on them. And it's not like chatting with an old married lady is any fun. <laughs> You're a piece of work. Alright guys, make room for me. Oh, a promising contender joins the fray. Rosie, think you could pair up with Isara? 
What? Sure, fine. Asara, pull your weight or you're swimming. Okay, I'll do my best, Rosie. All right, throw the ball, Asara. Okay. God, don't hit me with it. You're supposed to throw it that way. Rosie, did I hit you with that? I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, at least it ain't me this time. <laughs> Well, at least they had a good time. That's all that was! It's just a literal slice of life chapter that cost a lot of money. Well, I guess before we end the episode, I can show you the skirmish I've been working on. Oh, it takes you back to where Mission 6 was. Here is your mission brief. We received an intelligence reporting Imperial activity in the area. This is your starting position. Sweep in quickly and drive their strike force back. Your objective is to occupy their base camp. Good luck. This one's ridiculously easy. Like, all you gotta do is you just make sure that you take Alicia all the way to the enemy camp. If there are no questions, Let's drive these Imperials back out of Gallia! Squad 7, move out! Okay, we can take a look at that new order we got. Heal all costs only two? And that mortar support's not bad either. Okay, with this much HP, Alicia should be able to make it to the other side with ease. And this is all you do. And you can do this as many times as you want. If you leveled up scouts enough, you could also get resist crossfire to proc. And that'll give you even more defense against enemy bullets. I probably could have used a healing there, but that's okay. My turn, okay? Enemy sighted! Enemy sighted! There it is, just right there. That's the camp. Oh, uh, let's see here. I think I can just go ahead and get away with this. Try to at least get rid of the sandbags. If you can't get rid of the shock trooper itself. My turn, okay? There. Please. Got him before he could finish reloading. And then. You just go over to the camp, and you're done. Three actions. Four if you count the order. And look what that gets you. On normal difficulty. Wait, a medal? Well, here are the ones we got. Given to a soldier as it performed exceptionally as by defeating an elite officer of the opposing army. Given to a soldier wounded in the line of duty. It stands among Galia's oldest honors still being presented. Oh. Cool. So I guess now we gotta get an audience hall invite. Lieutenant Welkin Gunther, step forward. In honor of your manifold accomplishments, you are hereby awarded this honor. 
Highness, it's an honor. The Bronze Arms of Gallia. Okay, we'll give you this one too. Order of the Holy Lance. May your allegiance to I thought I was only getting one, not two. How did I get the other one? Given to a squad that has defeated more than 250 enemies in the defense of their homeland. Based on the Valkyrian Lance, it is presented to a squad shown to have earned victory with exceptional speed. Huh. That's, uh, pretty wild. I bet a lot of these are story-based. And these are probably accomplishment-based. So I'm guessing Golden Arms at Gallia is like, maybe he's like, Oh, a thousand enemies you killed. Huh, alright. Well, I guess we can stop here. And in the next episode, we'll begin the missions of Chapter 10. And get Thousand back. See you later, everyone.